Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Exile Escape from the Pit. Last time, we managed to escape the Castle of the Giants, and took a couple good pieces of loot with us. So, everyone in my front line now has magic armor. We've got magic breastplate, magic chainmail, and an ice shield that we stole from the giants. Ice Shield has 5 defense, no encumbrance, and gives fire resistance, so all of my frontline fighters can now be resistant to fire, which should come in handy for any dragon-related shenanigans that might happen. Scroll of Shockwave is quite nice, that's uh, basically 7 free spell points. The Grim Greatsword, which we found on the dead giant uh, elsewhere in this cavern, has a negative 5 bonus and is in fact cursed, so we'll be dropping that. This item will be gone forever. Still drop it. Yes. So, in fact, let me shuffle my inventory a bit more. You'll notice that Mal has Heartfinder right now. Demon Slayer doesn't seem quite right when we're not fighting demons. And I thought that uh, Heartfinder's poison ability would be better shown off with uh, one of my fighters instead of River the Wizard. She's got the Frost Axe now, she's fine. So let us continue exploring the wilds beyond the abyss. We... did we go this way already? I'm pretty sure we did, yes. Large sign says, humans, stay east or die. It is written in something red. Hmm. Well, it's probably not blood, because blood wouldn't stay red for very long. It tur does turn brown when it dries. This is a large wooden sign, with writing in a language you don't understand. Okay, how odd. You come across a giant quarry. Blocks of dressed stone are being created at the bottom of a huge pit by a large group of giants. Near them you see a small pile of raw colored stones, which look like, from this distance, gems in the rough. Might be worth taking. You rush up and claim the stones, which are indeed an impressive variety of raw uncut gemstones. Then the giants see you and rush up to claim them back. Oh no, more giants, what will we do? We murder them with smite and fireballs, of course. Man, those thrown boulders really do hurt. But now we've got a bit more gold. Ooh, gems. I wonder if that'll be like a stack of mul- a multi-use stack of sapphires or some such, that'd be cool. Huh. We've got some stuff in here. And we've been near this area before. We're actually not too far from, I believe, Fort Draco. And the old Nephilim castle. This huge area is blocked off by a low wall two miles to the north. It is a giant lizard pen, maintained for giant food. You're able to tell this, of course, because you have just happened upon a group of giant lizards, and their shepherd. <laughs> and they ran away from me. Hooray. Ah, here we go. Here's the river that uh, goes down south to Fort Dranlon. And we can definitely do some stuff in the middle of this river with either a boat or the Orb of Thralny. And since we ain't got a boat right now, Orb's going to do it. But first, I haven't shown this off yet. This tiny hidden cave is so choked with spider webs it's almost impossible to move. Small spiders the size of your hand watch you, hoping you move closer. Hmm. Well, we've got a giant slaying weapon and a demon slaying weapon. Too bad we don't have anything that's good against spiders. Except, you know, fire. A 
Oh, yay. Arania. Have I been saying Arania or Aranea? I don't remember. Major Blessing is probably overkill, but eh. some poison darts, why not? Poison darts are interesting because normally throwing weapons cannot be poisoned, unlike arrows. Okay, so far my enemies are all dying too fast to show any real poison effects. This might be a slog. Unless, of course, I'm still hasted. Hee hee hee. some poison. Unfortunately, not a lot. It does take a few applications to build up. I could go through this whole thing in combat mode and probably save myself some annoyance. Ooh, Elder Aranea. Gotta take you out. Five damage. Dang, are Elder Aranias resistant to fire and or magic? Probably. Unfortunately, they're not resistant to being hit in the face with a hammer. I know there's some... Oh. Darn it. are some secret passages around here. They may take some finding. On a mummified body here, you find a large, flawless quartz crystal. That's right, folks. There is secretly an extra crystal that can be found right here. So I think that makes, what, actually seven in total? When you really only need six? Oh no, someone cast flame at me. How rude. Hmm, someone crept up behind me. How even ruder.
Huh. These elder Aranias can get pretty tough. Where are you? Hmm. Ah, book can't go anywhere. Hmm, I do not like it when you don't take enough damage from fireballs. Have more fire. Is this what happens when you find a circular dungeon? Stuff just shows up behind you sometimes. And occasionally drops food. Mmm. Delicious spider burger. No, not mage spells. Priest spells. Need heals. Somehow this dungeon is proving even more annoying than I remembered. And this corner looks rather empty, but I don't know if there's anything much to find. Turns out the answer is no. spider. Just a regular giant spider. Well, I haven't found any secret passages along the outer rim. So let's try looking inside, maybe? I can't get through here. Hmm... What a suspiciously regular looking wall. How long can I just ignore this basic... Basic level ar How long can I just ignore this basic level ar Arania? Nini. I'm really starting to hate these magic casting spiders. Ooh, that is a lot of them. That doesn't call for fireball. I may use fire storm. Not bad, not bad. <sighs> Heckin' Elder... Heckin' Elder... That is really hard to say. <sighs> Stupid Elder Araneus. Eat halberd. Huh, this looks more promising. Maybe? Maybe, please? Let me in! 
How do I get in there? It looks special. I want it. Yeah, this is one of the dungeons I think that is rather better done in the remakes. Secret passages are easier to find. I think there's a little bit more stuff to find in general. Okay, this one's different. There we go! Ooh, we found a spider lord and oh my, that's a lot of poison. Hi, spider lord! Is it time to master all of the elements so we can defeat the Spider Lord? <coughs> That's... yeah, the Spider Lord is hitting me with lots of poison. See how you like it. Ow! 34 is a lot of poison damage. I'm just gonna have Simon do a revive on Kaylee. Boy, that guy hits hard. Okay, so there's not actually that many enemies in there. We've got a Spider Lord and two Elder Ar Ar two Elder Aranias. Elder Arania is actually a very hard phrase to say. Okay, I wanted to see if I could get above 30 to poison damage, but not really. I mean, 26 to 34 damage uh, every other round when poison hits is not bad. That's actually more than I'm doing in a single hit with one of my fighters. Ah, now it's Kaylee's poisoned again. I am running really low on spell points. Haha, <laughs> eat sword. How much health do you have, anyway? About that much, it turns out. Okay. The spire spider lord is down. Exile is safe from poison benders for now. On the altar, you find a large gold necklace with a spider brooch on it. It is warm to the touch. 
On this altar, you find a large, gold, jewel-encrusted statue of a spider. It is clearly extremely valuable. Well, we did just kill the previous owners, so, uh, you kill it, you bought it. Ha ha ha. I don't like you. I just barely have the spell points to deal with you. Maybe. Kinda. Oh. Okay, we've got the treasures, so let's get the heck out of Dodge. Did I not step on this when we first entered? Whoops. You emerge into a huge cave. Dominating its center is a giant stone spire, covered with webs and huge runes. The latter have been burnt into it, apparently magically. The ceiling of the cave arcs high above you. It's almost impossible to see, however, because of the gigantic masses of webs covering the walls and festooning the roof. Huzzah! And yes, we are strong enough that any spiders outside the cave will just run from us. And that's where the monks live who will teach us the healing spells. So, let's, let's take a quick rest before we investigate any more special dots. Also, I'm kind of impressed that we found any giants on this side of the river. I wonder how they get across. Maybe it's shallow enough that... Oop, hello. A collection of huge cabins are clustered along the shores here, home to a small bunch of giant fishermen. When they see you, they rush to attack. Maybe the river is shallow enough for giants to cross, but not enough for humans. Makes, a, makes as much sense as anything else. And now that's taken care of. But what have we here? Against the wall here, in a particularly moist place, you find large patches of a sweet-smelling, dark gray mold. Ooh! We just found... the fabled gray mold. And only one piece of it, too. You find the ravaged remains of a gray mold patch. Maybe someday some will grow back. The rarest and potentially most powerful alchemical ingredient in exile. Just want to go over here a little bit. It's almost as if someone intended for us to be able to use the orb here. Is there anything worth seeing or doing? That is a question. Mm, I don't think so. Maybe we could reach that last little bit of land. And now I know where we are. We are directly north of the Slith Waters. Yeah, we can't quite make it. Oh. Oh, I think we could make it if I did it just a little better. There we go. Let's try that again with less drowning. If I hug the wall here... Oh, right. It was a secret passage over here that got me to that special dot. Ah, uh, I feel dumb. Okay, never mind. My curiosity is satisfied. So now that we've got the Grey Mold, should we keep searching out the prison of Greyhoth? Or should we go down to uh, help the wife of Patrick, who is uh, slowly dying of cave disease? 
Hmm. Going back to the Tower of Patrick is on our itinerary. But some of us might think that impending demon menace is more important than saving just one person's life, even if that person is a wizard's beloved. Also, it's a role-playing game, so we can do things in basically whatever order we want. But that giant key we took doesn't only open the front gate of, the ca of their castle. The huge steel key you stole from the giants unlocks the padlock. With great difficulty, you pull the gate open and pass through. Cool beans. And now we've got an entirely brand new map square. You see an interesting sight. A giant dock, surrounded by tools of the boating trade, all giant-sized. Fortunately, none of the owners seem to be around. Which means we are free to swipe a boat and explore the northern waters. You see a band of soldiers. They seem to be looking for something. They notice you and move closer. You see they wear the insignia of the Empire. Then you see them charge you. And they've got a Mung Demon with them. I may need to break out Demon Slayer again. Someone's about to get wrecked and it's not gonna be me. Oh. Ah, right. Equipping and unequipping takes AP. What is this? The Mung Demon didn't take extra damage from Demon Slayer. That's not fair. That's not at all fair. Okay, that battle was a little harder than I expected. Did you know that Mung Demons actually don't take extra damage from Demon Slayer? What is with that? Anyway. My inventory is full. My health and spell points are not. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one, everybody.